Those are my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. Happy Valentine's Day! No, you forgot? Oh my. Hey, we all have busy schedules and things happen, but right now, you need to make a great impression. Time is ticking and you have to hurry to make a delicious chocolate dessert for your partner. Here's a quick one you should try. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my chocolate peau de can. This thick custard is pure indulgence. Mm. The traditional way to make it is very easy and perfect for tonight or any time you create chocolate. I like to serve this rich, silky, elegant dessert with a dollop of whipped cream and some berries. Mm. <laughs> So my friends, let's get cooking. We'll go ahead and chop our chocolate. I prefer shaving versus chopping because the smaller it is, the faster it will melt. So when we're done, we'll transfer the chocolate to a large bowl and set aside. Next, we'll look after the eggs. We'll add our yolks to a large mixing bowl and then some granulated sugar and a pinch of fleur de sel. This is the brand I use and it can be found at any specialty store or online. We'll whisk the ingredients until the mixture becomes thick and creamy, leaving a trail behind when sliding the whisk at the bottom of the bowl. Another indicator is the color will turn pale yellow. You can use a hand mixer if you prefer, but I don't mind doing it like this. It takes only a couple minutes. Then we'll set aside for now. Next, in a saucepan, we'll add heavy cream and set the heat on medium. But we'll keep an eye on it as we don't want the cream to simmer. As soon as we start seeing steam coming up and small bubbles forming around the edges, we'll remove from the heat and temper the eggs by adding a small amount of hot heavy cream at a time, whisking constantly. Don't rush this process, otherwise you'll end up with cooked eggs. We'll keep adding it, whisking continuously, and when the eggs are tempered, we'll pour the rest of the cream in and whisk until well incorporated. See, it's not complicated as long as you take your time. Next, we'll place a sieve over our bowl of chocolate just in case we did rush when tempering the eggs and pour the custard through it. I don't want to brag, but I don't remember when I had cooked eggs in my sieve. See, there's nothing in it because I took my time. <laughs> All right, now we'll add pure vanilla extract. But if you want to add a liquor, like hazelnut or Grand Marnier, then forget the vanilla. We'll let it sit undisturbed for a good minute. Next, after a minute, we'll whisk the mixture, making sure the chocolate is all melted. So now you understand why I like to shave it instead of chopping it, right? So now we'll divide the chocolate mixture into ramekins and fill them three quarters full before placing them on a small baking dish lined with a clean dish cloth or silicone mat. If you don't have these little guys, simply use small mason jars. We'll pour some boiling water in the baking dish halfway up and carefully transfer it to a 300 degree preheated oven. We'll bake for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the mixture is still jiggly. We'll remove from the heat, carefully transfer the ramekins to a baking sheet lined with a silicone mat and let it cool at room temperature before chilling in the fridge. When they're set, we should take about 3 to 4 hours. We'll serve them with some whipped cream and garnish with berries. And my friends, this is our chocolate peau de crème. This elegant dessert is so scrumptious. 
rich, silky, and dense. This French sweet treat is perfect to have when there's a need for a chocolate fix. <laughs> this is a great dessert for Valentine's Day if you want to score some points tonight. <clears throat> I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!